Shout out to all the drivers in Birmingham, England. Uber drivers form convoy in city center protest. We did this last month in San Francisco. Helicopters were above. This gets attention. The media loves this. So if you want to if you want to organize something tomorrow is May Day. We will also be talking about the um, people rising up in Canada. Ride share and delivery workers, drivers and cyclists join our movement demonstrations for gig workers rights organized by RDAO and IAATW. Scan that in right now. Um, all the details are at gigworkers.ca for Canada if you want to join in tomorrow. Uh, back to our brothers and sisters in um, Birmingham. These drivers gathered outside the firm's Birmingham office to call for fair treatment, right? And look at all of them there. See, the majority of them are actually men. I hardly see, uh, see one or two women. Uh, parts of Birmingham city center were brought to a standstill during a protest by Uber drivers over pay. Uh, Minnesota, listen up. You got to do the same. Get your convoy going tomorrow, May the 1st, right? May Day, workers' rights. Tons of protests around the world on May Day. Join in and, and or get, get 20, 30 cars together. Start at an airport, right? Get a convoy going. Create the protests. About 100 members of the Uber Drivers Union UK gathered outside the company's offices in Aston on Monday morning before a convoy was formed at the city centre's New Street Station. Demonstrators have said their pay has fallen and they feel Uber has treated them unfairly. UK, know that I have your back. Any story, any article, come to me, right? Uh, you join in strongly on February the 14th when we had the International Valentine's Day protest. The UK stood up. I always have your back as a driver advocate, so... Anytime you want to reach out, you will always get a story amplified on this channel. In response to the claims, the firm said all drivers were guaranteed the national living wage, holiday pay and sickness protection. Um, so this guy here says the drivers are making a collective stand for our rights and dignity. Absolutely. I stand with Mina Judin. Uh, protesters gathered at the Uber Birmingham Greenlight Hub. From 11 a.m. until about 1 o'clock p.m. Um, and formed a convoy of cars outside Birmingham New Street with a blue smoke flare let off at the scene as the cars continuously beeped horns. Um, Udin, a spokesman for the Uber Drivers Union UK, said we are doing the work, driving our cars, paying the tax, paying the outrageous insurance premiums, and we're only getting 40%. We're in the same boat, my brother. Um, and I also made a video for Pete Buttigieg, Secretary of Transportation. Wake up, right? You're allowing this exploitation to happen on your clock. November elections are coming, my friend. So they call us partners, but they don't treat us like a partner. And you know, there you got the flares, right? Shooting off the flares. Good. They made great noise. Um... If you have any stories in the UK, send them to newsonline.westmidlands at bbc.co.uk. I'm going to put the link below. The app-based operator has said the living wage and holiday pay that drivers receive is based on 12.07 of their earnings paid out weekly in cash. An Uber spokesman added, we regularly engage with drivers, including through our industry-leading agreement with GMB Union, which ensures all drivers have access to full union representation. They wouldn't be gathering there, Dara Kostra Shawi. They wouldn't be gathering there if there's not pain and suffering going on, right? And it's the same with Canada tomorrow. Rise up. And who else? Whoever else can rise up. It's a great starting time, 11 a.m. Get your cars together, go to airports, organize, and head off in a convoy, right? Slow down the traffic, honk the horns. I tell you, you will get the media there very, very quickly. It's not too late. I've made a couple of announcements for May the 1st, which is today. Uh, rise up, drivers. Make yourselves heard. Be loud. Be proud.